Okay guys, I've got the FPV Tello app, it's been updated uh, last week and I've got the Xiaomi Mi uh, Wi-Fi extender here. Now I just want to test out a couple of new features of this app, one of them being the, um, they added a new panoramic uh, mode. So I've set the height here for uh, 25 meters up at the highest point. So I'll send it up there a bit. Now I'm going to try this panoramic mode. It is windy here again, but what's new for Perth? Nothing much. Let's see if I can do this panoramic mode, which is the icon in the top corner here. And what the Tello is doing, it's uh, taking a recording automatically. It's getting blown around a bit. It's taking pictures as it's turning around. Maybe I'll be able to stitch them up. Probably not because it's moving around with the wind. All right, so it's the last picture. <laughs> Let's bring it down. It's pretty windy up there, guys. Okay. I'll bring the me repeater out with me on the field here. Here I am there. Got the me repeater on me. Seems like we're getting some good, no breakups or anything. So yeah, it's just been updated. I thought I'll try it out again, guys. Uh, let me see if I can do this panoramic view again and get it to record at a lower altitude because it was, it was up there and it wasn't liking it too much. See, so it's taking video uh, pictures by itself. It's getting blown around again. Tell you what, it's trying to hold itself in position in this rather strong wind. So it looks like visual positioning got deactivated then and it stored it away, so all right. We'll take some video then. Just fly around here for a, a bit. Maybe I could go and this area a bit just cruise around too busy to do anything else really uh, too windy rather to do anything else any of the other features. So it looks like I'm not getting any breakups. Take a recording. I wasn't even recording then. There I am there. So yeah, definitely with the Wi-Fi repeater, it's working from what I can see. I've got a bit of glare on this phone. There's no, no, no breakups. 
nice clear video. Put in sports mode. Oh, she really moves in sports mode. I mean, look at this. She really moves out. I'll just go to the edge of the field here. Let's sit there for a bit. I'll take it out of that sports mode for a second because it yours rather quick. And just send it up. So you can see this real estate here. It's a new uh, little suburb there. Quite a few houses there now. Oh, I'm going to bring it back guys, I don't want to lose it, <laughs> lower the altitude, slowly pan around and bring it back. Where are we going here? What percentage are we at battery? We're at uh, 44%. Okay. Uh, let me try one of those um, droney shots. Where is it? See one of these features there. And it's going back. Do that again. It's not doing it. Might just only be that distance away. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe I could try this point of interest again. Five meter distance and clockwise. Let's see what it does. Here we go. So the surrounding mode is working quite good. Awesome. And it just does one complete circle. I'm going to take that back and up higher. So that recording. Let's see if I can I'll do that again. Start. So that works perfectly. This time it's going around clockwise rather than anti-clockwise. All right, cool. So these are a couple of the features I didn't cover properly in the last time I tried it before it got updated. So, just wanted to give them a go this time around, even though it's windy. Lock of pilot, point of interest autopilot. Let's see what this one does. So it's locking onto me, is it? Maybe I've got to, I've got to understand this one a bit better. 
All right, I just had to uh, redo that screen recording. Just put the extender in my pocket. Let me try this uh, autopilot. So I'm not too sure how to do that one. Let me read it again. It says something about locks are heading point of interest you may use throttle roll and pitch okay locks to a heading All right where's the heading so point of interest locked it's saying so I don't know whether that's really doing anything I have to suss this one out. Alright. They also got VR mode too, guys. It's there. In the new version. And it's landed itself, so. Okay. How do I get back off this? Let me see, how do I get out of this uh, VR? Oh, it is a, I couldn't see the arrow up the top. So, it didn't even hear the audible alarm then. Uh, maybe when I was screen recording again, the app uh, was trying to reboot. But, yeah, um, pretty good update on this app, guys. I, I quite like it. And um, I'm going to further test this out a lot more want to see all the other different functions hidden in this app I pretty much covered all of them except this uh, the one with the flag there the point of interest um, which I just tried I failed at that one twice so if there's any advice guys put them in the comment section below and um, I'll give it a go again so yeah like I said before it's a great app uh, I thoroughly recommend it and uh, if you've got a tello and uh, it's got some great added features here with the uh, panoramic view uh, of the photos there where the Tello takes control and then does a 360. I think it takes eight pictures and you can always stitch them up. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to because it's rather windy. It was getting blown around a bit, but I'll have a look. And uh, yeah, it's got the VR mode as well. So if you're wearing goggles. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this app gets updated quite frequently. Um, Volatello is trying to make it better and better every time you can find some way to uh, update the software for us Tello owners so um, yeah I thoroughly recommend it even try the demo app uh, first if you just want to try it out make sure it works with your device he actually uh, recommends you do that to make sure it's uh, re you know if it works with your device properly and then you can purchase it so anyway guys thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you on the next one please like and subscribe if you wish to and you're new to the channel and uh if you do um hit that notification bell so you're updated with all my rc videos when i put them up so all right guys happy flying i'll catch you on the next one bye for now